Everyone produces garbage. Sweden is no different. But it's what they do with that waste that is a bit unusual. Swedes uh, produce uh, a fair amount of waste, approximately 460 uh, kilos per person and a year, uh, which amounts to 4.4 million tons every year. Less than 1% goes to landfill, and the rest is about 50-50 recycled and uh, energy recovery. With recycling and sorting of garbage a way of life, Sweden is able to convert much of its waste into energy. With its 32 incineration plants, Sweden is considered the world leader in the field of waste to energy, or energy recovery. In Helsingborg, in the south of Sweden, about 40% of households get their district heating from garbage incinerated at the brand new Filborna plant. The waste that we use here comes from two main sources, the households and industrial waste. It is sorted meaning that uh, scrap metal, foodstuffs, glass, etc. has been sorted prior to incineration here. A good number to remember uh, is that three tons of waste contains as much energy as one ton of fuel oil. So there's a lot of energy in waste. In Sweden we incinerate 2.2 uh, million tons of uh, household waste in these plants every year. Despite the millions of tons of garbage produced by the Swedes, the plants have an overcapacity. This has led to an interesting business for Sweden, the importing of waste from other European countries. Waste uh, today is a commodity uh, in a different way than it has been. It's not only waste, it's, it's a business. We import approximately 800,000 tons uh, yearly. We sell a service. It's mainly uh, Norway, the UK, Ireland, Italy. What we have here is uh, imported uh, English household waste. Each one of these weighs about uh, 700 kilos, which corresponds to 200, 250 kilos of fuel oil in energy terms. So there's a lot of energy here. 20% of the fuel that we use here at the Fieldborne plant is imported primarily from England. It is sorted waste. Metals has been sorted out, glass has been sorted out, foodstuffs has been sorted out. The English authorities, the English government is increasing taxes on landfills every year. So there's a pressure on finding other solutions than landfills in England. It seems like a win-win. Good business for Sweden and less landfill in Europe. But it's not without controversy. What about the environmental impacts of waste to energy? Is this clean energy? Well, it depends on how you look at it. Compared to the alternative of landfill, this is a much better solution. Having said that, all incineration of waste must be done in a proper manner. We are at half of the levels that are actually permitted, so we are far below the emission levels that the authorities has demanded from us. In a European perspective, every year some 150 million tons are landfilled every year in, uh, throughout Europe. So there are huge amounts of waste. As we speak, uh, EU is looking at the legislation and the uh, Waste Framework Directive and uh, we think that they're going to suggest higher recycling targets and also uh, more landfill bans. I think in the long run the world needs to produce less waste. The world has a, has a garbage problem. In the meantime, waste incineration and extracting energy from the waste is a, a good solution.